Hello, welcome to Phil's Camping and, actually I almost got it wrong, Phil's Camping Reviews. Bit of a name change you might have noticed of late. I've changed my YouTube channel to Phil's Camping Review. I think it portrays more to what my YouTube channel is all about. Okay, so we're just setting up here. We're doing a live feed. I was going to record this. Hello, so we've got a couple on. So before we go any further, um, how is the feed? How is the video coming through? How is the sound? Uh, it says here that I'm having some, hang on. Having some issues. Wait a minute. We're having some bandwidth issues here. In order for this live feed to work, I need to have two primary connections and okay right just bear with me something's not working here and unfortunately if this is not going to work we're going to have to give this a miss and I'll just go back to filming it I was going to film jeez oh, my phone's real touchy today what's going on I'm right, having some issues with connections here. Okay, give that a go. It's probably breaking up a bit. Guys, if it does it again, I think we'll just call it a quit. There's no point filming this if it's not going to be a good connection. Uh, but don't worry, I will just film it separately, edit it up, and upload it in the next day or two. Uh, but I thought I'd just do it live. So, how you going, Luke? How are you? It's Troy. How you going, Troy? Michael? G'day. So, all good? Excellent. All right. Connections seem to be stable now. Looks like it's all working now. That's good. Okay. Now, I was going to film this at the same time as I go live, but unfortunately, my, my screen recorder uh, does not work if I've got the camera plugged into the laptop. Now I could have gone grab me GoPro and film a live on a GoPro while I'm recording with the good camera. But honestly guys, that GoPro drives me up the wall. Um, and I've got enough things at the moment driving me up the wall, so I don't want something additional driving me up the wall, otherwise I'll go bonkers. And I'm sure you don't want to see me go bonkers. Okay, so you might notice in the heading, right, just let me check. The video is all good. That's the thing when you're going live, you don't know until you actually go live whether things are working properly. Hang on, I'm losing place. I'm trying to do too much at once here. So you might have noticed. Here we go. We've got 4,499 subscribers. One more subscriber, and that'll get me 4,500. So it's cool. So if you're watching out there. Just click that subscribe button, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Okay. Preparing a brisket for, looks like we've got another video that looks like it failed. Okay. So this is my second attempt at connecting today. And we seem to be alright now. <coughs> or are we? Are we working guys? According to this, it's telling me we're not working. I don't see a live feed, but obviously, it must be working. Ed's for driving camping. How you going? Sword Ventures. Uh, good morning. Is it, is it morning? I don't know. I think it's... That's no, afternoon, Steve. <laughs> How you going? Everyone has had a good weekend. G'day, Saw. Yeah, everyone. I noticed... Um, He's down in New South Wales, got a holiday, I think as well as Northern Territory and Victoria and Tasmania. So I thought this would be a good day to get a live video out. I was too busy over the weekends, I generally are too busy over the weekends to do a live feed. Someone called the Fire Brigade. Yeah, probably was, just as well. Um, the Fire Brigade is just around the corner. <laughs> Steve. 
<laughs> they're not too far away. <laughs> I drove past before and they got plenty of fire brigades sitting in the shed just in case. I thought I'd better check that. So... So obviously we are live. Unfortunately, I don't know why it will not come up on here. Actually, I've got a laptop here. Let me see if I can go on a laptop. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it up on the phone. Only because I just want to set up a couple of things that I cannot set up until I go live. Here we go. It's showing live here. Awesome. Nine watching. That's good. Okay, just let me go. So obviously we are live. And edit this a bit. Um, hopefully we will not. Okay, just bear with me. What I'm doing, guys, is I'm turning video monetization on. Okay. That way, I might make a few cents. Okay, I think we're right now. It's interesting that that video didn't show up on here. I wish I could set it up beforehand. Uh, by the way, I've got some good news. I've repaired my computer. As of yesterday, I've been spending a couple of days uh, working on computer. Well, actually, about the last four days, I've been mostly working on computers. And while I'm at it, I managed to fix my re computer. So it turned out to be the motherboard and the video card. Uh, but let's not get into that. What sort of laptop have you got there? <laughs> Steve, you'll know what sort of laptop I've got. <laughs> Steve knows what I've got, what sort of laptop it is. So thanks for that, Steve. I'm sure you don't mind me mentioning, but Steve gave me a loan of his laptop while my PC is out. Well, I can let you know, Steve. I'm sure you probably found out already, but my uh, PC as of yesterday afternoon is up and operational. So, beauty. I mean, this laptop, though, is really awesome. It's absolutely awesome for doing stuff like this going live. Now, I've got a really old laptop that I think I can still use for going live. It's probably not much better than that. It's only good enough to do a little bit of browsing. And I'm sure it'll run the software programs that I've got here to allow me to go live. So I'll still be able to use the laptop to go live so thanks for that steve next time we'll catch up we need to catch up steve and i'll show you how to use this properly and how to edit etc and i'll set it up just so you can edit um perfectly you know well i don't know dumb chum to twister <laughs> so today's video right i one of my most popular videos is if you're not aware, it's got something like over 65,000 views. I kid you not. Yes, I've got a video that's over 65,000 views that I filmed just over two years ago. It might be close to two years. might be a year and a half or so ago. And it's a video on the brisket, cooking the brisket in a $69 or something thereabouts uh, Bunnings smoker. So, I thought, and it came out real good. So, I'm going to have another attempt, guys. I haven't cooked a brisket since then, and that was the first brisket that I cooked. So, Ryan, if you're watching, I'm going to need to hit you up on some advice. Now, the advice I won't need is till the end. All I need to know is, I know you did tell me, but it was nearly two years ago. I believe the brisket... I should take up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, if I remember right, when it's cooked. Or is it a bit higher? I cannot remember the cooked temperature that we'll need to get up to. Now, obviously, guys, we are live. And I'm going to cook a brisket. But it is 20 past 12 in the afternoon. 
And obviously, a brisket's going to probably take seven, eight hours to cook. That last one took eight hours. I'd imagine this one would probably take longer. But I don't know. I'm trying to experiment here. I'm going to try cooking it in this fella here. Now, if it works out, that means, guys, you guys that come regularly camping with me, <laughs> it's going to benefit us. Because then I might be able to cook up a brisket while we're camping and we can have a brisket. And I reckon that'll be awesome. So I'm going to see how it goes. And I'm using one of these cookers. You know, the cookers you can buy that's got the the um, the pot, like a roasting tray that comes with it. Well, these, if you haven't seen my videos on the Winnerwell foldable oven, so you see this one's got all clips in here. If you don't know much about this, go back on the video. These are not very expensive, all stainless steel, and, and they fold flat like that, and they are brilliant, they're brilliant. I use it at home a fair bit, actually, to cook at home, and I, even this one. I prefer cooking with this than, the, than on the electric stove there at home, because I can control the heat really good on this. Now, they use those, those canisters, you know, the butane canisters, so how this works with you guys down in a very cold climate, I don't know. Up here in Queensland, funny weather, guys. It's, I mean, it's winter, it should be a lot hotter. I was driving around town this morning with the aircon on, and I'm sitting under here, under the canopy, and it's very humid. Right now, we're saying it's about 54% humidity, and we've got the temperature under the canopy right now. It's nearly... 29 degrees right now and it's a winter day so it's very very warm very warm today it's unbelievable uh, about a week before winter started about a week before the show the last week in um, May it uh, got real cold then uh, but then since then in June it's starting to get hotter it's just getting to get hotter and hotter and hotter it's almost it's almost like it's like a summer day today which is crazy. So, I'm going to try a brisket in here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to cook it today. Otherwise, I won't end up eating it to probably 9, 10 o'clock tonight. And we here like to eat around 5, between 5 and 6, mostly around 5 p.m. So, what I'm going to do, this is the day before, I'm going to prepare the brisket. Okay, I'm going to prepare the brisket. Now that video that I filmed nearly two years ago has got nearly 65,000 views. That's still to this day my most popular views every month. Every month that one gets over 2,000 views per month. The next video to that is something like seven, 800 views per month. So it gives you an idea how popular that, that video is. And that brisket turned out absolutely awesome. Although, according to Ryan, the dreaded chef, if I had to let it go a little bit longer, probably half hour to an hour, it would have come out more succulent and it would just fall apart when I cut it. So I'm going to give it a, a shot. I'm having a look to see if Ryan's on here yet, but no. Nah, don't worry, I won't, I'll contact Ryan before, um, or I'm probably tomorrow, because I won't need the info till tomorrow. But today I'm going to prepare the brisket. So I was thinking this morning, I don't have any any rubs or anything. So I went up to the local, uh, what do you call, barbecues galore here, which for me happens to only be about six minutes down the road. Small town here, everything's within six minutes. <laughs> so I went and picked up this rub. So it's a traditional American rub, and it's a world champion rub. World Champion from a company called Clark Crew Barbecues, established in 2012, and it's called Jacked Brisket Rub. Okay, so if you want to have a look, right here, hopefully that is, is that focusing on that? Hopefully that's focused on that. So I'm going to give this a try. Okay. So it's gluten free, 340 grams, MSG free. So it doesn't look too too bad. Now, going by 
Uh, yep, it looks like it's American. ClarkCrewBBQ.com. Visit us. Okay, so it looks like they've got a Facebook page, they've got a Twitter account, and they've got an Instagram page. Winner over 80 professional grand championships and reserve grand championships with over 700 awards since we started in 2012. So there you go. Now there's no instructions on here how to use this. So I presume I'm no expert with um, cooking briskets. So I thought, you know, I could film this and edit it and upload it to YouTube. But I thought, guys, why not do a live video? Save me editing as well. And as well, you guys can interact with the live feed and maybe give me some tips. <laughs> <laughs> See how we go. So at this stage what I figured we do is we'll just get the meat, the brisket, lay it on here, take it out of this vacuum seal package and I suppose just double this on. I might double a bit of oil on first so just to make sure the brisket sticks on there but I'm worried if I do put oil on there then the oil might just start, I don't know. It may start um, cooking the outside too much, but that all depends about the, the temperature. As long as I can get this down to no more than 200F, which I think should be pretty easy to do, but we'll find out tomorrow. So today, the live feed is on preparing the brisket. So I'm going to let it marinate the rest of the day. It's only just after midday today, so I'm going to let it marinate the rest of the day and overnight. And then tomorrow morning, if all goes to plan, probably around 9-ish or something like that, um, we'll go back and do another live feed. And But don't worry, guys. I know a lot of you, it's a holiday today that are watching at the moment. If uh, you can't make it tomorrow morning, uh, when you come back home tomorrow, you'll be able to watch it then or the following day, whatever, uh, because this will stay up on my YouTube channel. There's no problems with that. So, I don't know. Um, I haven't seen any advice given here. <laughs> no one, no one's put up any advice what I should do. I'm kind of thinking that I might dab a little olive oil on the brisket. So, let's give it a go. Let's have a look at the brisket. Now, I picked this brisket up. It was on sale. I can't remember what I paid for it. Here we are, $21.21. I don't know why they put the one cent on here, honestly, it's crazy. Uh, it's uh, 1.4 kilos, and the price is $15 a kilo. So it's Australian beef slow cook brisket. I bought this at the local Coles. So have a look there. So there you go. So pick that up at the local Coles. So good size brisket. I uh, wouldn't want it any larger uh, because it won't fit inside here. Now I have prepared this time. I've got a pan. Let's let me get it out. Ah, no, it's not in here. Where'd I put it? Here it is. I've got another one of these pans that I'm going to put it in. You can see here, stainless steel pan, pan, and it's got a grate on there as well. See there? So I figured if I sit it on top of the grate here, I think it'll be ideal. Otherwise, what I might do is I might actually sit the grate in there and put the whole thing on the top. But then again, I don't know. It might be wise to stick with this whole the whole pan in there because I'm going to have a flame underneath, although it's a very small flame. So that's the beauty with these gas cookers, guys. If you haven't got one of these, uh, I highly recommend these. They cook brilliant. They actually do. And they don't get affected by the wind as much as your traditional ones, your single burner ones. And when I say single burner, this is still a single burner. But it's got a long burner, like about that wide. You might be able to see here. Okay, you can see. So you've got a ring of flame that goes all the way around there. I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. Good. 
I got the camera set at 16 mil. The wider set will go. So it will look a bit distorted, particularly if I go out on the edge here. I might look a bit distorted or bigger. Okay, it's not me. <laughs> it's the camera mode doing that. I'm not as big as it looks here. <laughs> well, that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> All right, so are we still live, guys? Because um, I haven't seen anyone put a comment up since Steve asked about the laptop, and that is quite some time ago. Actually, can you see? Actually, you can see the laptop. How cool is that? <laughs> well, I had to go widescreen to fit everything in. So, I'm going to go by... Actually, there'll be instructions in here. What does the instructions say? Just out of curiosity. Turn the brisket... Take the brisket out of the fridge. Allow it to come to room temperature. Preheat oven to 170 degrees Celsius, 150 fan force. That's pretty high, isn't it, for brisket? Um, remove the package and lightly season brisket with salt and pepper. Place brisket in the roasting tray, half cover with stock of your choice. Stock? In a roasting tray and half cover with the stock. That's interesting. Guys, I never heard a brisket cooked that way. Tightly cover the dish with lightly oiled foil. Place in the oven and cook for two hours. Okay, I see what they mean. I don't think they mean by actually having the brisket sitting in the water itself. So what they're referring to is having water in the base. So I think that'll work. That'll be ideal. Because I've got this, okay, I think actually this is looking all right. I think this might work. Because I've got this here, okay, this grate, and as you can see, there's a bit of gut. Now, I could put some water in there, all right, and then sit the brisket on top of this. So, wonderful. And that will keep the moisture, because someone did mention to me the other day, but... When you cook a brisket, you want a dish with some water in it so that it doesn't dry out too much. Um, so bingo. I'm glad I read this. So I'm kind of making this up as I go along. I was hoping some of you guys would be able to offer me some advice, but you're all going quiet on me. Are we still live? <laughs> It'd be funny if I'm actually... It says that we're still streaming. <laughs> It'd be funny if I'm actually sitting here. Actually, let's check. We are live here. Normally, I would have edited this out. But I'm just going to check and make sure that we are actually are live. We are actually online because no one's commenting on anything. I'm not getting any comments. So let me see. Not too much. Yes, we um, are live. So bingo. I'm glad I read this. So I'm kind of making this up as I go along. I was hoping some of you guys would be able to offer me some advice, but you're all going quiet on me. Are we still live? Still live, yep. Awesome. That's good. <laughs> It'd be funny if I'm actually... All right, just wanted to check there, guys, because no one's commented for quite some time. So let's get back to this. I don't know if you like this kind of format. It's like a bit of a blog. I kind of want to go and do a bit more blogging, like live stuff, like we're filming now. But I tell you what, actually, guys, where I live, we hardly ever hear jet planes fly overhead. And there's a jet plane flying over. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm just going to go have a look. Oh, I can't see it. Hang on, just bear with me. I'm going to go see you. Okay. No, I can't see it. It's not that often. There's a magpie right here. <laughs> It's literally only a metre away from me. I better keep an eye on this. <laughs> that would be funny, guys. The magpie came up here and started eating this brisket while I'm checking out the jet planes flying past. It's not that often we get jet planes flying through here. I remember when I was a young kid and uh, went to a holiday in Sydney. And, you know, the only thing we were interested to see... The only thing that we, we were in awe of were in Sydney, not just me, but my mum and dad too, is the airport. We wanted to go to the airport and look at the planes. 
And I remember as a kid sitting there at the airport behind the fence just in awe watching these planes go. And I was going, as they were taking off, going, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Literally like that for a whole day. I kid you not. <laughs> and then when I was about seven, I went to a, um, I went to Italy by plane. I don't remember much of it. I don't remember actually sitting on the plane itself. Okay, I remember a little bit about Italy. In fact, I didn't actually like it because I remember walking around in those old cities and I used to hear this noise in the guttering underground and I used to think it was the boogeyman. So I was really scared. Guys, I was only six or seven. So <laughs> no. I'm sure what you should be saying was the same when you're six or seven. Huh? Oven bug. No, I'm not going to use an oven bag, Graham. I don't know if you watch my attempt. When I tried to use an oven bag in here. Didn't turn out too well. I'm sure a lot of you would be able to vouch for that. Just as I thought, I'd better check these. A lot of times they've got these seals on them. So, ah, <clears throat> didn't come off. Wow, that, that, that paper is so hard. That's right, like really thick cardboard. It literally is, oh, that smells nice. Whew, that, that's that smell nice. I'm going to, I'm going to finish off this bit of chocolate and this lolly. There you have a smell. Shut up. I'm drawing those dump birds. Dump birds yelling now. What do you reckon? Does that smell alright? Don't get a black face. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. I'll fire this up. Mmm. Mmm, I'm going to try a bit of that shortly. That does smell nice. Right. And by the way, here's the sauce I've chosen. I think I've already showed you this. But I don't know if I showed it to you up close. That's the sauce. That we're going to try. Now, while I was at Bunnies, Bunnies, not Bunnies, Barbecue's Glow, I also picked up this one. Okay. Bit of Jack Daniels chicken rub. That says in here you can use on poultry, etc. as well. Can't smell that one. It's got childproof thing on it as well. Wouldn't mind trying to smell this. Um, what do I need? Well, I can hear Jet go past. Hang on, let me go have a look. Wow, I can actually see it. I don't know if it's that new airline. It might be that new air. We've got a new airline here. I don't know if they're called Scout or something like that. A budget airline. And they started doing direct flights from Bundaberg to Melbourne. So you guys living in Melbourne... Now they're selling tickets for two hundred dollars. I don't know if that's return. I think that's even return. So if you can get in um, early enough, they're probably all sold now. 
But I believe they're selling tickets for $200 return. Direct flight from Melbourne to Bundy or Bundy to Melbourne. So, let me just go put this in the bin. So that's the first one that I've seen fly past. And I know they have been flying. I don't know when they are. And I know they're jet planes. So I'd say that's one of them. It looked like a passenger jet. So that's awesome. Not too often I see the jet planes fly over here. So I'm, I'm kind of excited. That's awesome. Okay. What do you reckon? You guys watching. I cut this up. And we'll put a little bit of dab a bit of oil on here and we'll dab some of this on there. I think I'm gonna do that. Bonza Airlines, that's the one, Bonza. Um, because I think this will just fall off. And this stuff's not cheap, twenty nine ninety five, so I wanna be able to save as much as possible. So while I'm gone in the house, can you keep the magpies off the brisket? If I come here and there's briskets eaten in this, I'm going to blame you guys there. So give me a couple of minutes. Alright, how'd you go? One of those dump birds are sitting here nearby as well. In fact, I'm going to go and need to go get some paper so I can dry this off a bit. So I'll go and grab that. Once again, can you keep the birds away? Yell out, poke a stick at them, do whatever. Three of those dumpers sitting nearby just watching. You guys did really well. You kept them away. I'm so proud, happy. Thank you. I knew there was, I knew to come in handy doing this live. <coughs> I better use these guys as well. So you kept the birds away. What an awesome bunch. Oh, good stuff. So let's cut this. Biscuit open. Now, I this morning I went through and read through some of the comments. Well, quite a lot of them actually. I can't believe there's something like nearly 300 comments <coughs> on that video, if I remember right, that I filmed. It's got over 65,000 views on that brisket. And there's a few comments there, people saying. To leave the fat on the biscuit brisket not cut it off because it'll add to the flavor and keep it more moist and I think I agree I'm mm, very good I'm gonna do that I'm going to leave the fat on here now there's not a lot of fat on it it's only a very thin layer of fat on this side here that I can see Now I did wash my hands, so 
so don't worry it's a shame in television land you can't hey terry how you going hey so it's a it's a shame in television land you can't taste this or smell this oh you want to see it end up on the floor <laughs> Ah, wow, that's a nice piece. I'm just going to put this in the bin. I'm just going to put that in the bin. I should have left, read the rest of the instructions, what they said on there. Too late now. So I reckon we'll get a bit of this, this paper. and it's had it dry this is what i always do to all the roasts when i cook the roasts oh wow this paper's actually sticking to the fat oh shit! are you kidding me why is it doing that Are you kidding me? Oh, what? Frickin' another comedy show. Honestly. Now, oh, Joey's sitting there going, ah, ah. He does that when I'm doing something stupid. It's ridiculous. I didn't know paper's going to stick to the fat like this. So oh, it'll probably burn off anyway. It wouldn't matter, would it? Got no snow here, mate. Far out. There's no chance it's going to snow here. You need to go and get your to togs and go down and um, down to the be beach and go for a swim. Driving around with the aircon on again this morning. How crazy. Well, I kid you not, guys. That fat is not going to come off. Not fat. I might have to cut a bit of that fat off because we've got paper there. Yeah, I actually will have to get the paper off because um, we're going to put a layer of brisket on it. Now, I've got the wrong knife here, but someone mentioned just this morning, actually, early this morning or that yesterday, that they had a shock when they were using a serrated knife to cut the fat off. <laughs> Actually, I think I got all the paper off. Otherwise, I'll just have to eat a little bit of paper tomorrow night. I can't believe that. Why did the... There we are. So be it. If there's still a bit of paper on there, no one's going to notice. Just don't tell anyone. <laughs> hey, Terry. <laughs> Terry and Steve. Annie. Robin, Rob, if you're watching this, or when you watch it, are you going to trust me if I cook a brisket for you? <laughs> That's interesting, Phil. What's that interesting taste? It's got like a paper texture in it. Oh, yeah, that's some new rub that I just bought. Oh, shit. Let me go throw this paper away before I get more paper on the thing. <laughs> Man, I can't believe the way that paper stuck on there. It was like blue, eh? Well, I don't know these things. I've never tried this before. Well, actually, I have always used the paper. So here we go. Let's massage the meat. I reckon you've got to massage it. What do you reckon? Am I doing a good job of massaging? Oh, you got a bit of a knot there. It has to Let's get that knot out. Oh, that's better. Huh? Look at that. Beats me if I'm doing the right thing, but this is how I'm going to do it. I don't know if we actually did put any olive oil on that one that I that actually cooked the first time nearly two years ago 
Oh, funny, funny. Ryan was on right now. There we go. How's that? Does that look all right? So what we might do right now is wash me hands. I've got a little bowl of water here. So I figured I probably would need to wash me hands every so often. Craig, here you go, Craig. Hey, Phil Tucker looks good. Thank you. Let's hope it looks good tomorrow, eh? Back from 11,000k trip to Nullanby and to Weeper. Great, lovely fishing. Awesome. I'll bet you you would have caught some good fish there. I heard the fishing is really good up around that area, especially if you've got a boat. Okay, so we've got some briskets. Now, I, this is American brisket, right? So, I know traditionally in America, look at this, I'm so, I'm so careful to make sure I don't waste any of this. It's literally coming out just in such small, small So, how much of this I'm going to put on here, I'm not too sure. Probably till it's mostly all covered. We, we personally, actually looks pretty good. Let me move the camera down so you can see a close-up of this so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And I just so happen to have a long lens. Okay. So there you go. Terry wants to know which rub that I got. You must have been out shopping while I was showing the rub off. You were showing me rub. Check out me rub. This one I got at Barbecues Galore. Okay, so it's, oh, airplane. Oh, that might, I'm not sure if that's, uh, that might be the flying doctor, guys. That might be the flying doctor. So there it is, got the Clark Crew Barbecue, world champion. Okay, what's it say? Jacked brisket rub from America. So you can check it out. It's gluten free and MSG free. Good for brisket, beef, pork, poultry, and seafood. And it tastes really nice. Actually, it smells nice. Mmm, actually. Guys, that does taste nice. That's really nice. I like that. Wow. That's really nice. I think we're going to put a bit more on. It's not hot at all. The guy recommended this one. And in fact today, if you... Jeez, there's another airplane. Hang on, go have a look. This time it's a little one. Gosh, I've never seen so many planes fly over. It's a wonder a life flight hasn't flown over. By the way, the uh, organisation for the Legends for Charity at Gumbara on the August 2024. Can't remember the exact dates what it is. Uh, it's, it's going well. Let me just... Oh no, I think we might go a bit more guys because this is too yummy not to use.
this is um geez i hope i don't stuff this up in the cooking this is going to go really nice when i do some chicken and so on roast the chicken steak that'll do that's a fair nice coating there so if i turn that around and put in the plate i don't know how that's going to work so what i might do is put it in the dish that i'm going to cook in what do you reckon it's going to work well with that i did terry lucky you remind me i forgot to mention that i bought some smoked chips as well okay so i just went to bunnings there wasn't made a lot of choice there so i just got this applewood chips right here so there you go i'm going to give that a go now i'm not too sure how that's going to work where i'm going to find the room in here because uh We'll have a closer look at this oven shortly, and I'll show you it's got a couple of trays. So just let me move this plate out the way. I've got a bit more oil there. I don't think we'll need any more oil. See if that'll support the weight of this. So what do you reckon if I turn? I don't know. I wouldn't mind... Yeah, we're going to try to cook it on a low heat, so it shouldn't should not burn. Now, okay, well this meat is so tender, not bad for just cheap meat on special at Coles. I'm trying to get some of this brisket along the edge here, not brisket, this rub along here. There we go. Let's get some along this edge. It's a nice big thick piece there. This would have been a lot easier if I got another person helping. That I'm managing. So if this works out, guys, these guys that come regularly camping with me, um, if I get their brisket on sale again, as cheap as this. I will buy some, take it with me, and when it's my turn to cook, I'm going to cook a brisket. Eh, eh? Tell you what, you guys better be prepared for some good stuff to make up with it, eh? Eh? I'm going to want another one of your special desserts, Terry. Your secret dessert. Uh, that'll be a nice start that goes with it after we eat that huh, huh? <laughs> I want another one of that mmm tell you what no rub gee that's nice you don't even have to don't even have to cook it just eat it raw okay Let's have a crack i'm trying to get a bit more i wasn't sure how it's going to do this so hopefully i'm putting enough on here i'm sure my brother-in-law when i did that one that we did in uh gold coast he had a whole heap more on it okay let's put some over the top of this now I don't think I'll need to add any salt, anything else to this. So that should marinate really well. That's going to go in the fridge for the rest of the day and overnight. And then we're not going to cook it. For those who just joined now, or not long ago, like Terry, I'm not cooking this today. If I was, it probably won't be ready till about 9, 10 o'clock tonight. There we are. I am going to put it a bit thicker on the top there. Guys, I hardly used any of that. Okay. 
So that might do for a first attempt, hey? So I'm just going to leave that sit like that. Now I've got a thermometer. So tomorrow I'll place my thermometer. It needs a bit more along there. I put a lot more on this side. There we go. <coughs> a bit more over here. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, so that's prepared. Now that's it. So tomorrow what I will do is I'm going to, obviously I'm going to take it out the fridge probably at least an hour maybe even a bit more before I cook it so as soon as I get up in the morning because I want it to be down to room temperature and then I'm going to put the thermometer in and then we'll put it in here and cook on low heat okay on low heat so now let me move the camera back so you guys can see me <laughs> Terry's going to get Robin on to me. Why? Have I given out your secret recipes? <laughs> okay, let me zoom. Zoom out. There you go. <laughs> so... Let's see how this looks sitting inside. Now, see how it looks sitting inside here. Now, if I've got another tray to put over here, I can make up a cup out of alfoil and put the smoking chips in there so it'll sit on the top here. And, um... So the idea then is to get this to smoke. So obviously, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna leave this set up like this. So I'll be I'll leave the car out the the back of the house here tomorrow. Set up like this. And um, geez, that smells nice. I might actually try some of that rub tonight on some chicken. I'm gonna roast the chicken tonight. Oh, she's going to cook a new one. Oh, sweet. Oh, well, we'll see how this goes, guys. If I can find another cheap brisket like this. Um, have to be around this 1.4 kilo. I think any bigger it won't fit in there. If this works out fine tomorrow. <sighs> Sorry, Steve. <sighs> but some rub on your keyboard. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's not as bad as R2, though, with beer on it. I should talk about beer. Oh, I have some coke. It's special coke. Might drink this now. Special coke. Ah. Uh, oh, that smells nice. Um, I put it well away. So it's nowhere near the keyboard. Because this is a beauty of a keyboard. Steve's probably at work, so we can say whatever we want. <laughs> Robin's probably not watching at the moment, so we can say whatever we want, Terry. Oh no, she's she's posted on here. Hey, eh? Robin, this new one. Have you looked in the secret book yet? I know you made up a cooking book, and you're going to sneak some recipes out of that one. Hey. Eh? So there we go. So when we go camping, hopefully, we'll have to pick a day where we don't go anywhere. So we're probably going to have to sit nearby this and keep an eye on this all day. Um, which is what we normally do. We'll have to pick a day where we're not going around exploring. And uh, yeah, it'll be awesome. So what I might do now is shortly put that in the fridge here. 
So, yeah, hopefully this is going to work out. So tomorrow we're going to cook this. And I think I'm going to bring it up to about, cook it like this on a low heat, 200F, probably even lower than that. I'll try to get it as low as I can with this. And then um, when it reaches about, I think it's about 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm then going to remove it. And then I'm going to baste it with this burnt finger barbecue, smoky barbecue sauce. I'm actually keen to see. Yeah, smells nice. It's not a very strong smell. Actually, that's not too bad. There's definitely a lot stronger taste barbecue sauce than what we get here. But there's no hot pepper, nothing like that. That's the main thing. It's not hot. So, that's going to go really nice with chips. Mine is 20 bucks. 20 bucks for 558 grams, which is not much more than half a kilo. Far out, guys. So I'll make it last. Hey, where's my drinko? Ah. This has been in the fridge for a very long time. Cheers. Are you guys having a, having a holiday? Cheers. Go have a drink with me. Come on. Have a drink, hey? Mmm. <laughs> Bugger <laughs> Robin's there. She's heard it's Terry. She's going to hide that book. It's probably got a padlock on it by now. It's probably hidden somewhere. She secretly dug under the cement of the house and put a trap door under the house and dug through the cement while you were out shopping this morning. I could hear the jackhammers from here and she's put a safe in there and it's got a double lock on it and she's hidden the safe as well, the keys for it very well and her secret recipe books in there and um, yeah <laughs> I, gave, I gave your hottie spot away, Robin. <laughs> They're masters of desserts, those two. Not just dessert, everything. <coughs> you should see some of the stuff they come up with this cooker here. <clears throat> Absolutely freaking awesome. That's where I got the idea of this from. This one here I got from Steve. You know Steve from Saw Adventures. <coughs> Excuse me. He loves the Winnowell gear. So I bought this. One of the best purchases ever. And then I got the idea for this cooker here. From uh, Terry and Robin. And they're using the caravan. And they're cooking this a lot. Now it also comes with its own roasting pan and in fact it's interesting people have commented saying how safe is it to have this on the top I've proved and I've got a video out <coughs> I've proved that it's actually safer with this on the top than with the original roasting pan that this came with because I could safely where this is going the canister here so that's where the canister is right Obviously, so you know, this one's nearly empty. Lucky I bought some spares today. Okay, because I've been using this a fair bit. And, um, okay, that stays cool, cold to the touch. With this running, where it's with the original pan, it's actually quite warm, very warm. <coughs> so it deflects the heat away more. And it's like it's made for it. It's perfect fit guys it's a perfect fit check it out it's, it's just it's like it's made for it look it just sits on here perfectly you couldn't get a better fit so 
Wonderful. But I don't know how it'll go with um that's soaking in a bit more. I'm gonna put a bit more of this on. That might do. This is always a trial. You can see what this is like. It could even be too much, who knows? So what we might do is put this in the fridge. Well, I don't think it'll be alright there for a little while longer. So anyone who joins in late can actually come and check out the rub. Check out my rub. Okay. So how's everything going here? I've got Speedify on. It saved here from excessive latencies and dropouts 30 times. And it saved from severe connection failovers um, 8 times. And saved from a connection disruption 1 times. 39 times. It saved from buffering and disconnection. Because as you know, we're using Starlink. Awesome. Can't believe it's probably about seven, eight months now since I've I've cut the line, got rid of NBN altogether, and gone to solely Starlink. And it is brilliant. Mine's a lot more, that's cost a lot more. But hey, at least I've got a service now. NBN was hopeless here. I've had times where it disconnected for three months before it was repaired. Another time it was two months. So I had a whole three months with no internet, no phone, only mobile phone. So it's crazy. Luke says one hour get off. Now Luke, we only just started. In fact, I think my battery only lasts an hour and a half in the camera. <laughs> That's your saving grace there. <laughs> uh, Joy says put the rub in a plastic bag and shake it around. Does a good job, less messy. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea, Troy. Oh well, you learn these things. So although I don't have much mess here. Hopefully Steve's not watching. Only joking, Steve. He'll probably come back and watch us this afternoon. <laughs> Steve will be wondering, why does my laptop smell so good? <laughs> Only kidding, mate. Only got a whole heap of rub in here mixed with the rum. And uh, it's made out of a really nice concoction of taste. And it's just beautiful you'll realize that when you get the laptop back it's got this beautiful smell especially if i bag it up and then you'll open it and go woof <laughs> how many people have we got watching guys i cannot tell unless i bring up the live feed myself um, have we got good numbers? What have we got? It's got this beautiful smell, especially if I bag it up and then oh, you'll got open it. 13 go, thumbs Whoa. up. Give me more thumbs up, guys. <laughs> Give me more thumbs up. I need more thumbs up. <laughs> 11 watching. Wow, guys, 11 watching. And it's a holiday. How many people Most have we got watching, there. guys? Uh, I cannot well, tell. How's the exposure? Am I too dark? Unless I bring up. I look like I'm a bit too dark there. Hang on, let me just see, play around the exposure. I've got some dark cloud covers moving in. Which button do I need to press? Is that better? That's about one f-stop. If you know... If you know computer talk, 
That's about one f-stop more light than what I had before. Is that better? Still looks a bit bright over there, doesn't it? So, I don't know if you can see, guys, but I try my flexibility out. <laughs> I've got the long pants on of the nudie cover. The clothes that make you feel like you're not wearing any clothes. So my bottom part from waist down feels like I'm naked. Because I got this awesome clothes that I spoke about in last week's live video. Um, all about this clothes if you want to know what I'm talking about. So yeah. And this is the long pants version of it. And it is midgy proof mosquito proof and it's material like spandex look at the way it look at that look at the way it stretches that's awesome hey eh? that's good that's not my skin <laughs> that i'm pulling on there that's that's the clothes oh i finish in for pretty quick hmm ah that's good i was thirsty too so I might put this away, so you want to have another look and see what my rub looks like. Okay, so there it is there. So let's put that in the fridge. To marinate uh, overnight, get all that lovely rub taste into the the steak and um cook it tomorrow so tomorrow we'll do another live feed obviously i'm not going to do a live feed that's going to last for seven or eight hours however long this is going to cook um so i'm going to do two live feeds tomorrow uh maybe three one in the morning when i'm preparing it starting to cook around nine ish and another one in the afternoon late in the afternoon when it's almost finished cook being cooked and i'm taking it out and revealing it for the first time and then take it out let it rest and then slice it up well hopefully maybe just pull it apart with the fingers don't know hopefully that's going to work that way because if we don't see a video tomorrow afternoon you know it's failed <laughs> so I got the smoking chips. Paul's caravan traveling. G'day, mate. How are you, Paul? So you traveling around this great country of ours, living in a van, are you? Uh, so Terry said, no, she's cooking. So let's go through the comments to see what I've missed out on. Uh, Bonza Airlines, High Legends. Luke says he's got snow in Tassie. Terry wants to know what rub. I think I got that. Troy came up with a good idea for getting rub onto the brisket. He puts the rub inside a plastic bag, puts the meat in there and shakes it around. Uh, yep, Terry, I got the smoking chips. Do you need the trivet fill? Trivet. Trivet. Is that the uh, trivet? Is that that um, thing down where I put it in? Yeah, there is a trivet in there. Yeah, there's a trivet in there, so there's a bit of a gap. So what I've got to do, remember, now remind me tomorrow, because I actually forgot. Remind me in the morning when we go to live feed. Okay, make sure you do this, because I, I will end up forgetting. Remind me to put water in the base of that pan under the trivet. Okay. So that'll that'll allow that'll stop 
the base of it cooking more than the top as well and that'll help with the smoking effect as well the steam so I've got these wood chips here now if anything I might need a trivet to go in here now the um, you would think I don't know you would think the one that I use for the trouble trouble buddy will fit on there hopefully I'll sort that out tomorrow if it doesn't then I might just have to what I'm going to do what I normally do when I'm using the um, the smoking chips is I usually like to soak them in water for half an hour in a cup of water I find they smoke better and they don't tend to burn catch on fire whether that's a good idea I don't know maybe maybe what I'm doing smoking putting it in the water for half an hour might get all the the the, the nice you know, smell and so on out of it but then I'll hold that water I will tip it into the base of that pan anyway so that way it should smoke so hopefully we're going to see a billowing white smoke just spewing out of this all over the place. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully it'll be just, I mean, I'll probably sit here and you won't be able to see me. So I'm just going to cook it outside in the back here. It's like I'm pretending I'm camping. Because in reality, that's what I'm going to use. I mean, yeah, I could use this as home, but I've got other stoves and that I could use to cook the brisket in, which I'm sure is going to make it a lot easier than what this one is but in saying that I reckon it's going to be easy with this I have a feeling it's going to turn out really good because because this stove here it's got re you can really set it to get a really low flame on it and the beauty with it too if there's a bit of wind blowing it doesn't tend to blow it out like it normally does one of those single burner stoves does I know what they're like guys you only got a like this literally a foot away or a meter away for like that and the thing will blow out <laughs> honestly so what else have we got in the comments here not so secret anymore the secret book yeah I know and I gave away where you hide it too did you bring that jackhammer back to where you hide it today how'd you sneak that past Terry <laughs> uh, 11 Terry G says 11 Troy Troy says 11 what's 11 <laughs> yeah. So your only battle, your only battle will be keeping the temp low. Yeah, I don't know, cause I mean having it outside is gonna assist. Um, that flame, you can get that flame really low, eh? So it's gonna be interesting. Tomorrow will tell. Worst comes to worst, it's gonna be too hot. All you got to do then is just open the door a little bit, like so. So a little a bit of that hot air gets out. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it works. So what what I what I want to do is get it at no more than 200 Fahrenheit. So what's that in Celsius? I don't know. Hey Google. Can you convert 200 Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius? 200 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 93.333 degrees Celsius. 93.3333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333
Bugger me, I'm just going to go 93 and then that's it. Yes, I love experimenting. How awesome would it be to go camping and be able to cook up a brisket and eat a brisket cooked on that day um, without having to have a huge trailer to carry a big smoker with you. I bet there's not too many people cook briskets when you're out camping. I suppose you could probably do it in a camp oven, a good quality cast iron one. If you're good enough and you hang around it and put use very few coals, trouble is it's going to be really hard to monitor the internal temperature inside the camp oven because I don't think these Bluetooth thermometers will be able to work through cast iron. I think the signal, the Bluetooth signal will be blocked. Uh. Yeah, looking forward to the Legends get-together. Yeah, me too, guys. Tell you what. Go and buy the planning that's happening and all those guys all chipping in together, sharing the load, the workload. Um, I know I've been pretty busy of late and organising. Uh, there's been a few days where I've been... I get up early in the morning and I don't walk out that, that computer room. Well, this one here working on this laptop to nearly midnight at night. Just working on merchandising, stickers, patches, etc. Um, working on the welcoming pack. Working on the cooking, so on. Uh, the shirts, working on the shirts. So we're going to try to look at releasing the shirts before Christmas. So you'll be able to uh, buy these shirts and get stickers, etc. at Stubby Coolers before this Christmas. And all the proceeds of that is all going to go towards our two, our two fun, fundraise, um, fundraisers. RSCQ Life Flight and what's the other one? Planet Ark, something like that. I don't know. I'm sure, Terry, if you can let us know what the two are. I know Life Flight one's the other one. So we're all got, we all got, um, we're all having regular meetings. And I know we all live quite a fair bit, but with today's technology, we all having regular meetings and videotaping and just going over. It's like a proper meeting, so on. So it's been full on of late, the organisation. So Southern Down Arc, that's it, Southern Down Arc, guys. Check them out on the website. So they're one of the other ones, uh, beneficiaries, is that what you call it? Uh, that we're going to help out. So it's two, only two, no more than two. We're only going to work on two. Those two main ones, okay? So and I think they're two both worthy courses. I know we got a major big life life, life flight um, helicopter base here, based in Bundaberg here. And I see them almost on a daily basis shooting, just flying around, particularly shooting over our house as they go to Fraser Island. A lot of silly people do stupid things over there. So as soon as something happens, helicopter from Bundy goes straight over. And it's not far, in a straight line, so you're probably not much more than 100 k's away, Fraser Island, from here, if that. Uh, 130 hours, get off. <laughs> Come on, Luke, deep down inside, you want me to stay on longer. Hey, oh, by the way, guys, if we've been on for an hour and a half, uh, just warn you, don't be surprised if all of a sudden it's just disconnect because that means the battery will be going flat actually let me see what the battery is on the camera um ah oh, i can't bring it up info info where's the info display oh oh 
okay. Oh, that's interesting. All right. I've got plenty of battery power there. Because I've got the camera plugged into this laptop, seems like it's charging the battery as we're going live. So there you go, Luke. I can go longer than an hour and a half. <laughs> Ah, I was going to say we should stay on here at least uh, long enough till I finish this off, but I'm almost finished it off. Boy, that got rid of me thirst. Ah, that's nice. I should, probably should have something to eat. I haven't really eaten anything for lunch today. Just a few bickies and stuff. I, had, I woke up late this morning. I had a fairly big brekkie, so I'm still full from that. But I'm starting to feel a little bit, hang on, I'm starting to feel a little bit peckish now. The only food I've got in here right now is some chocolate and lollies. I'll tell you what, if you try this combo, try this combo out. The chocolate with some lollies. Jesus, nice when you eat them both together. Mmm. Well, how many people have we got watching now? I'm going to go. <laughs> I shouldn't have put so much in my mouth at once. I'm trying to eat and talk. Mmm. Tastes nice, and you got sweet lolly in combination with the Capri chocolate with the um, nuts, the fruit and nuts. Wow, what a nice combo! Hey, blow it out, guys! Eight people. Geez. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get a lot more. So I hope all you eight people have put a thumbs up. <laughs> eight people? Far out. Isn't it a holiday down yet that way? What could be more entertaining than watching this right now on your holidays? <laughs> Surely. Don't tell me you're sitting down watching Netflix. You gotta watch out YouTube. What else I've got in here? I've got a lemon. I've got some whipped cream. Hey, <laughs> don't ask what that's for. <laughs> I got another bottle of Bundy rum and cola. That's only half full. Barbecue sauce. I got a brisket. You probably know that. I got this stuff here. Which Terry, you know what this is. Matt. You know what that's for, Terry? Huh? I'll let you tell all the folks what that one's for. I got some water that's nearly empty. Might as well drink that up. I got some milk. Oh my gosh, this milk's already been opened. Shit, guys, this would be milk that I would have opened back when we went camping at Moore Park, Terry. How many months ago is that? I bet you she smells a bit now. Actually, it doesn't. Still, should I try drink some? This would have been open. When did we go to Moore Park? Was it in Feb? March. March. So this has been sitting in the fridge after opening and used within five days. Okay, just bear with me. I'm going to go to the bin and put this in the bin right now.
I didn't know that was already open. I got another one here. Ah, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. This is the one I like to drink. Okay. Paul's Zimmel's. Full cream milk, lactose free. I've got to have lactose free milk. So that one's not open, no. Use by date. 27th of October 2023. So that's alright. Hopefully I'll go camping before then and use that. No, I've got some French onion dip. That would have been in there since we went camping. Um, best before 12th of September 23. That's cool. That's all good. And that's about it. Oh, and I've got these really guys in the freezer. I've got these really nice sausage rolls. And they also make these in... Um, I'm trying to get the sticker off, price tag on here, so I know what brand it is. I go to the IGA, local IGA here, and they sell these baked provisions, home-style sausage rolls. And you cook these in the air fryer, and only take about, oh, what, 14 minutes or so, if that, to cook in the air fryer. And it uses less, the same amount of power as if I was cooking them in a travel buddy. And I've proven that. Because I've done videos on that, as you know. So I've got two packets in here. Oh! <laughs> Terry! <laughs> Terry Robin! You won't believe what's in here. It's still in here. From um, when we went camping at um, uh, Dan Crazy. Last year, I think back in October, remember I, you all laughed, where I had an ice cream specially delivered of the owners. I ordered an ice cream, they charged me three bucks for it, and uh, didn't even eat it. Look, the drumstick is still in the freezer. Look at all the ice on it, so it's what it's hot snow. Is that still any good? Do they have used by date? Not for individual sale. Oops. I didn't say that. <laughs> they sold it to me. <laughs> they, got a, they got a notice board up there. Here I am so, talking all about it on freaking social media. They got a notice up on the toilet. And so when you're sitting at the toilet doing your business, you can actually buy, order ice cream and they come and deliver it to you. <laughs> is that steak to still eat that's it 110 litre fridge now talking about this awesome fridge I love this 16 mil lens guys I can stand right over here and you can still see me I'm miles away and I can stand right over here and you can still see me because it's 16 mil. Includes everything. Everything. And um, tell you what, Kings yesterday, you know Kings, the budget products. Nothing wrong with most of their products. And perfect if you're on a budget. And you want to start out camping. Because quite frankly, I wish when I was younger, some of the ages, a lot of you young fellas out there now, they're getting really spoilt with some of this camping gear we have now. Back in my younger days, um, we didn't have access to good quality gear like this. I remember... If I wanted to go camping at Fraser Island, I'd shoot off at Kmart and go buy a $20 A-frame tent and go expect to camp there for two weeks with a $20 A-frame tent. Of course, that didn't last more than two or three nights before it was blown down, ripped apart by the winds. 
All the dingoes ripped it apart, even though you got nothing inside there. So then you had to end up sleeping either inside the car or you buy those cheap $5 tarps, put on the ground, wrap yourself around it and sleep on that. That's what a lot of stuff I do now. Troy reckons I should eat the, the ice cream while I'm live on air. <laughs> I don't know if I'll take that live. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, Terry remembers that. <laughs> yeah, the fridge is getting a bit bare. I think tomorrow morning I might go do some uh, grocery shopping. Um, because, what's today? Is it Monday or Tuesday? No, it must be Monday. I hope it is Monday because I keep saying you guys have got a holiday today. Is it Monday? What's the 12th? Yeah, it's Monday, 12th of June. Yep, that's cool. I forgot what I was going to say. We're talking about grocery, yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Terry, me and me mum, we plan on making a, some homemade lasagna. Because I know I won't have time to make it on Thursday. So me and Terry got plans on Thursday. So <laughs> Thursday night we're going to have some homemade lasagna. <laughs> I love doing that. And um, there we are. Just made some money. Just made 10 cents today. I'm rich. I made 10 cents. When I finish this one off, I make 20 cents. I've got a half, another half a bottle there. That'll make 30 cents. Ho oh, ho! 30 cents plus a few more cents I'll get from this video of you guys watching. So put a like. The more interaction you have, put comments in after I film the video. The more interaction you have, the more I get paid. Don't worry, it won't come out of your pocket. It comes out of the advertisers. They pay so much per thousand, and I get a percentage out of that, and YouTube gets the rest. YouTube gets most of it, of course. <laughs> Ah, 20 cents. Can I have the 30? Can I have 30 cents? 20. Oh, I've only got that half, but I want to, I want to save that half. I want to save that half, the Bundy rum. 20 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Graham says he lived in a shoebox in the middle of road. All the kids today, and they want, they want, yeah, I know, they want everything and not pay for it, not work for it. It's not fair, isn't it? I worked freaking hard in my life, and most of the time, all the work we did, because we were farm owners, we were working, 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 and losing money. Huh. Terry wants me to make 30 cents and drink it now. I want to save it so next time we go camping. <laughs> oh, I might save it for tomorrow's session. <laughs> oh, it looks like I'm going to have to do another visit to the Bundy Rum Distillery and buy another six-pack. Man, that's bad. That six-pack lasted only, you know, only lasted me about seven, eight months. Far out. We used to have a bottle of Bundy rum in the house. And this Bundy rum would have been probably 15, 20 years old. Because we just don't drink alcohol here. My mum doesn't touch it. And she was the only one that drinks it. She'd, she'd get some, she used to get some Coke. And she'd get the rum and Coke. 
and she'd literally sit there and put like two or three drops in the rum and coke. So the bottle would last 20, 30 years. So we still had half a bottle in the fridge there. So I took it with me the last time I went camping at Fraser Island, right? So half a bottle was going to spoil myself, okay? So I had some coke and I had this 20-year-old Bundy rum, okay? Beautiful fermented, <laughs> if you could say that. Is that the word, fermented? Absolutely aged to perfection. So, I mean, you'd pay a lot of money for rum that's been, you know, that's that old, over that old. So I took it with me. It's in the vehicle. So on the third day, I was going there for 10 days. On the third day, I felt like having a little bit of rum coke. So I'm going around inside my four-wheel drive, and I'm looking and looking and looking and looking. I can't find the freaking thing. I can't find it anywhere. And I'm thinking, what the hell? I know I put it in here. I was so pissed off. I looked and looked and looked. And I said to me, mate, you can probably know what the story is going to leading to now. And I said to the mate that I had with me, camping with me, I said, mate, I'm trying to look for me but rum, rum and I'm trying to look at it. Oh, he said that half a bottle of rum. I said, yeah. Oh, I drank all that on the first night. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably, I don't know if he's watching now, but it's okay. It's all right. I forgive you now. <laughs> I wasn't happy at the time. I was a bit a bit pissed off. I didn't say anything. I was a bit pissed off. But, hey, it's all right. I mean, the guy had his own half a bottle of Jack Daniels or something. And he drank that, half a bottle of that, and then he drank half a bottle of my Bundy rum on the first night. And it didn't even know. So I had no drinks. I had nothing. Nothing with me. <laughs> so, of course, I do have another bottle stashed in here. Let me go grab it. I've got a bottle hidden in the car. I've got some good stuff here. I've got some coffee chocolate. Rich and smooth. Bundaberg liqueur. I got some Bundy Royal liqueur from the Bundaberg rum. So I've owned this for quite a long time. And look, I've only ever used that much. So I'm a very small drinker, guys. And I need, hang on, I'll put this away. Yes, back in my, thank God, no one saw where I put it, eh? Uh, luckily, the lens is not wide enough so you can see where I put it. It's hidden in my vehicle. <laughs> and that's why I got the, um, and that's what the whipped cream is for. Hey, <laughs> not what you're thinking for. <laughs> you keep your mind out the gutter, guys. It's not for that. Although that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Better not say too much, otherwise I might get in trouble by YouTube, and I've never been in trouble by YouTube. But they'd have no idea what I'm talking about, would they? A lot of you young fellas probably got no idea what I'm talking about, would you? Mmm, it's empty. Yeah. yeah as you can see, guys, we have a good time when I go camping with me mates. We always have a bit of a laugh, a bit of larrikin, joke around, play tricks and tease people. 
<laughs> I'm sure Terry would vouch to that. <laughs> Put the nav. What's the nav? Put the navigation system today for genuine Nissan. Hopeless bull bar, crazy money, but hopefully it'll be sweet. Yeah, I got an old mate of mine. He's one of my old customers when I was in a computer, when I had a computer business. Popped around and had a visit today. He's got a, well, a couple of last Sunday he came over. And he's got a Toyota Land Cruiser 200 Series. All decked out, all the good stuff. And um, he put a bull bar on there from Toyota. And it was about $3,800. Um, aluminium but very very nice it actually matches the 200 looks really smick guys it really gives it like a, a sporty feature looks really nice so he didn't go for the traditional ARB ones and all that and I said to the guy yeah you're probably saving a lot of weight here and he says oh that weighs 66 kilos so I thought wow that's pretty heavy don't they say ARB ones only weigh about 50, 55 kilos? I don't know. Although years ago, that's all they weighed. So he had a genuine one from Toyota. Smicko, looks really nice. So it just matches his, his 200 perfectly. He's 200 silver in colour. He's got all the TJM, everything. He's got the TJM suspension, the spring... Oh, springs as part of suspension, the shockies, etc., the whole works, the TJM snorkel and all that. Um, and he does a lot. He's got a he's got a hybrid camper, um, built in Brisbane. I can't remember the company it is now. It's Australian made. Um, he bought a hybrid camper. Uh, cost him not much more than the one that um, uh, Paul from Mr. Buckaroony used to be Mr. Buckaroonie channel. Some of you might remember a channel that used to be called Mr. Buckaroonie. That unfortunately don't exist anymore. And um, he didn't pay much more than what Buck paid for that van that he's got. And it's Australian made. So yeah. Terry, are you going? Terry's going to do some more work. Yeah, I know. I know I've still got more more work to do on the computer. Uh, in fact, it's quite... I mean, in fact, the last four, five, six days, I've just been on the computer from dark to dark, just about. And I'm um, oh, just spinning my mind out. My eyes are literally just squared, like shaped of the computer. A lot better now that I've got my real big, humongous wide screen back and I've got my PC back. Thank God for that. As you might be aware, my PC um, went ratchet recently, guys. Not recently. Probably six months ago, it got fried in a storm. So I haven't had a chance to do anything to fix anything until yesterday. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am. I got my PC back. I got my huge, big, 40-inch wide screen I can look at now instead of looking at a small 15-inch. Far out, just about need binoculars. Wonderful, these laptops. But I prefer to do all the editing and all that stuff. But I tell you what, Steve, you got a flaming good laptop here, eh, mate? you got to learn. Learn how to use this. Um, unfortunately, Steve doesn't know much about the PCs. Don't know how to use. I installed uh, the free version of that DaVinci Resolve. Although right now I've got uh, Premier, Premier Pro on here. Because I've got a subscription as Premier Pro now. I've got Premier Pro. I've got Photoshop. I've got some InDesign stuff, etc. for doing the logos. I've been making logos of late. I don't know if you've noticed. I uh, made one up for the Legends for Charity. We haven't shown any of that yet. Um, I made one up. I made some uh, stickers. Terry helped me. 
I didn't do it just on my own. Terry helped me with that. So we're going to do up some stickers so you'll be able to get some stickers soon. Um, to help support the two charities that we got. And they're awesome looking stickers. But if you have a look in the community page, um, I posted a picture of my new logo on there. And on my YouTube, uh, I mean YouTube channel, <laughs> on my Facebook page, if you don't know, I've also got a uh, Facebook page called Phil's, Phil's Camping Reviews. So that's what I've changed my name down to now. From Phil's Camping in Turin, it's called Phil's Camping Reviews. And on Instagram as well. Now I regularly post on Instagram. And when I post on Instagram, what I post on there automatically gets updated onto my Facebook page. Um, eventually, guys, I'm going to make my own uh, website. So um, I'm going to have some uh, my own website. And I'm going to design my own stickers and some merchandise, get some shirts in, etc. And you'll be able to purchase them through um, my website. Um, eventually so things will happen things are going to happen so we'll have merchandise up soon guys okay again to help support charities you know some local charities uh, good chance I'll have some shirts and stubbies down at the event and sell them so I just get cover my cost and whatever extra I can then go put that towards the go towards the two charities that we're doing this event for. So you should be able to buy some shirts uh, there as well, uh, like fishing shirts and maybe some cotton t-shirts as well. I might look at doing certainly be some stubbies, uh, might be some embroidery patches. Uh, there might also definitely will be some stickers. Uh, so I'm actually working on that now at the moment and all that so that should be awesome let me see what the battery percentage is like on my camera this is cool when I plug this camera into the laptop oh, she's almost fully charged <laughs> I could go sorry Luke I could go unlimited here can't believe Terry left. Holy stress, are you kidding me? Idiomatically, is that he said? A of B bars can weigh like 75 kgs. Jeez, back in the early days, they were 50 kilos, and I thought that was heavy. Far out, guys. One of the reasons we don't use them on our fleet utes, just a couple of land cruisers. Luke's going. Oh, I've warned him out. Oh my gosh, I warned you out. He's going. Talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, just remember, guys, around about 9 a.m. I don't know what's the time there. How long have we been on for? Oh, it's only two o'clock. Come on, guys, it's two o'clock. <laughs> hey, come on, it's two o'clock. How many have we got on? This is terrible. I don't know how many is watching. Unless I go into YouTube on the browser and see. Are you kidding? Have we only got four watching. YouTube channel. <laughs> on my Facebook page, if you don't know, I've also got a uh, Facebook page called Phil's, Phil's Camping Reviews. So that's well, what well, I've changed my name down LA, to guys. now. From Phil's Camping in Turin, it's called Phil's Camping Reviews. <laughs> Oh, come on <laughs> for watching <laughs> oh come on guys <coughs> oh well i'm sure some of you will make up with it tonight or uh, through the week next weekend hey eh? watch my videos watch me videos guys watch them support my channel the more videos you watch the more videos i'll upload i'm actually looking forward to actually filming a video that I have to edit because now that I've fixed my PC and now that I've got the latest version 
of Premiere Pro. I can't wait to get in there and start playing around on that. But I've got other stuff on the computer I need to get done first. So we've just been hitting really hard this last couple of weeks with the organisation of the Legends for Charity. So it should be good, guys. It should be good. Uh, as, as things are get more confirmed, 100%, um, the entertainment that we're working on, we're organising, etc. Um, obviously, there's going to be raffles and so on. We're getting donations of some awesome prizes. Um, so any used businesses out there uh, willing to help out, please do. Uh, after we get the website up, I'm going to go to the local Bundy Rum and see what merchandise or anything I can get from them to add into the prize pack for the raffles. So it's going to be people wandering around selling raffle tickets and all those proceeds, 100%, all of those are going towards our two two char charities, which is Life Light. And the other one again, what's it called, Terry? He's gone. If you scroll up, you'll see what it's called. Um, so... We might call it a that, eh? So, might leave everything set up like this and uh, get out here in the morning as soon as I get up. Or actually, I'll probably take the brisket out of here, but what I might do is actually put it in the house so the birds don't get to it and eat it. Let it get down to room temperature. Once it's down to room temperature, turn all this gear on, do another live feed, and start cooking away here. We'll hang around for a while. Obviously, we won't stay on for seven or eight hours during the whole cooking process. I think my legs will collapse by then. I don't think I could stand that long. And, um, you know, we'll get it going for a while. We'll probably be on for an hour, hour and a half or something, maybe two hours, see how things go, depending how many people are... are are on here so what I might do for something different I should set up the uh, the live feed for tomorrow to be start exactly at 9 and then what we'll do is um, I'll set it up on the computer so then people will know that there's going to be a live feed at 9 a.m. tomorrow so we might get a few more reviews on on then I've never done that before I usually just out of the blue just pop up and do a live feed now looking at speedify here guys this is only possible because of the speedify app i've spoken about it before so you want to know what i'm talking about go back on the videos i'll do a separate video where i can edit it uh, so i can play around with the computer that i fixed and i've been saved from disconnections now uh 46 plus 13 what's that 59 plus 3 61 times 61 times i've been saved from disconnection by using speedify bloody good oops <laughs> Beep, good app very good app um Troy says there's seven watching. So there's one less than the last time I watched. I'll be buggered. Unbelievable. It's a holiday, guys. What are you doing? Why are you not watching my video? <laughs> hey, Cor Corbu, Corbu Raven. I don't know if I, how to pronounce your first name. Corbu? Corbu? How are you going? Unfortunately, you come on right at the end when I'm just about to knock off. Because I'm just about worn out. Yeah. One of the reasons we don't use them. Uh, talking about the Land Cruiser. Six in the... Six in the morning here in Switzerland. Oh, sweet! I guess, is that six o'clock in the morning or is that six degrees there at the moment? I presume it's six o'clock in the morning. That'd be right, because I think you guys are eight hours behind. No, you're normally about eight or nine hours behind us. So we're in the future. So if you want to know what's happening at 12 o'clock, 
um, let me know. I can let you know what's happening at 12 noon uh, coming up in six hours time. <laughs> Hang on. Call Boo. I memorised that name. I know who you are. Hey. Hey, he's going, guys. So, um, hey, I'm going to hang around a bit, bit longer now. The um, what's your YouTube channel called? Off Track Family or something? Is it Off Track Family? If I remember right, I've been helping them out with their um setup, their awesome setup and their Defender. Um. Very similar to my setup in a lot of ways with the electronics, uh, with the Victron gear. So what they've got in there is very similar to mine. How is your solar? I know you had some issues with your solar panel. Personally, I don't think you, there was any issues. I think it's only the fact that because you're in Europe, in Switzerland, and it was winter at the time, you weren't hardly getting anything out of your solar panels on the roof, and you're wondering why. I think it's just because of the climate where you are, being winter, very hazy. I mean, solar panels are next to useless there. I mean, if you're somewhere like here in Australia, you get the most out of solar panels. But now you guys should be going through your summer, so your solar panels should be doing the right job now. So how are you going with that? Um, everything's going great on my system. Loving this battery. As you know, I've got the battery very similar to what you have got. Um, so if you're not aware, um, I think you I think you pronounce your name Cor Corbu. Corbu is it? I hope I hope I got it right there. Just let me know if it is right, yes or no. Just put a yes on there and I know I pronounce it right. Or put a no. <laughs> Maybe we Better have another chat on the phone one day, have a talk and so I can learn how to pronounce your name. <laughs> Beautiful country, by the way, is Switzerland. And um, so if you're not aware, check out their YouTube channel. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're the off-track family, is it? Sorry if I got it wrong. Not thinking straight today. Um... Off-grid family, no, not the off-grid family, something like that. And they got their own popular YouTube channel, and they got a defender. And they've set it up, and they've set it up in such a way where the four people can comfortably sleep in it with plenty of room. So they managed to fit four people. So it's about herself and her husband and her two kids. Now her kids are not small, okay? They're they're grown kids, and uh, they got plenty of room. Of course, they got a cutout on the roof, and they got one of those pop-ups, and the pop-up like Andrew Saint Pierre White has on his um, FJ's. Is it FJ? Not FJ's. Um, what's he got? Land cruisers and that, and um, troopies, and his troopies, where they cut the roof off, and then they put the pop-up ones, and they got the bed that folds up, and when you're ready to go down the bed, it's all on hydraulics. And you just push it down, just climb up, and you go to bed. So they got that set up there, and they've also got a set up on the base where they can set up them their uh, mattresses on there, and they can sleep underneath. So it's like a two-story, and they sleep inside it comfortably. Of course, they're using induction cooktops, etc. I don't know if you use an air fryer yet. Are you using an air fryer? Have you gone that league yet? If not, um, definitely check it out. Don't need to spend much. On an air fryer, uh, they work brilliant with our setup. So yeah. So let me know how your solar panels are going. So cool. All right, six in the morning here in Switzerland. So I'd say that's what it is. It's six six o'clock there. So yeah, I've been on air for quite a while now. How long? It's almost approaching two hours. Let me see exactly. Speedify will tell me. There we are now in 58 minutes. So we'll make and then we might knock off. So at the moment we've been saved from disconnections now using Speedify app. 47 plus 13. What's that? 60 plus 3, 63 times. How cool is that? Yes, right. I did. I pronounced your name correctly. 
Sweet. I should be able to because I've got um, European ancestry, is that what you call it? Blood in me. And I think that's why I love the cooler weather and I seem to survive, handle the cold weather. Even though I'm born in high humidity climate area, it just knocks me around big time and I'm born here. But yet yeah, I could go down to Canberra in the middle of winter and or Katoomba and walk around in shorts and I'd be the only one walking around in shorts. And people look at me, the locals would look at me and um, they say, where are you from? Expecting to say, you know, I'm from the snowy mountains somewhere. It's ridiculously cold. Or I'm from up the central. I don't know. Tell me if that's any better now. Okay, give it another. All right. Go. Back on now. It should, should be a lot better now. Uh, I think we wore Speedify out. It did come up with some error before, so uh, we'll call it quits for the day, and I'll start up at 9am in the morning. So let me see what it's playing like. I'm just going to play it 